In this video, we'll be going over the watermark feature in MotiveWave. Now, the watermark feature enables you to display a semi-transparent label with the instrument symbol and or description. You can also choose the location of the watermark as well as the font and color for this label. So let's take a look at the watermark feature. First way to bring up the watermark is you can right click on the chart, click on chart settings, click on watermark, click on show watermark, and now you'll see the symbol being shown on the screen. From the opacity, you can select how dark or how solid you want the symbol to be. The lower the opacity, the more transparency there will be. So I'm going to leave this at 50%. You have different locations here. You can have top left, top middle, and the top right, as well as all these other options. So I think for this exercise, we're going to keep it in the center. Uh, the color, we can change the color if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to leave it as default, so it doesn't stick out too much. You can also change the font if you wish. I'm going to leave it as Arial. There's also a description font, which we can enable, and that will bring up a description of the symbol. Now, if we save this as defaults, this will apply for all charts. So let's click Save Defaults. OK. And now you notice here for Apple, you see it for Apple. If you go over to Microsoft, you see it for Microsoft. And again, you can either right click and select Chart Settings, or you could double click on the chart and go over to Watermark. Uh, let's turn off description only because it may be a bit too noisy. We'll resave them as defaults. Click OK. And now you'll notice it's just a symbol is there. Now, watermarks can also be accessed via Configure, Preferences, General. Then on the second row, we select Watermark. Now from here, the extra watermark features we have here are for generally across the platform. So I've selected Show Watermark, and I've selected here the Motive Wave logo, and I've selected its opacity to be 65%. The location is going to be the bottom right-hand corner here. And now under Display, we have two choices. We have either Image or All. If we just select Image, then it will not show on the platform but will only show in the images where we take snapshots via this camera icon here. If we select all, then it will become available across both the platform in the charting area as well as the image. So I'm going to select all here. Let's click apply. And now you can see it here in the bottom right hand corner. I can adjust the insets here. For instance, if I have zero here and click apply, in this case, I might find it too tight right up against the price axis. So I'll go back to 20, click Apply, click OK. And now you'll notice that I have the watermark here across the platform and across different charts. Okay. Now if I select to take a snapshot or image, save on the desktop, and if we go over to the desktop, and select the image. You'll notice here that you also have the watermark here. So back to Motive Wave. Now, if we go back, figure preferences, we go over to watermark, and let's just select here image only, click apply. Let's go over to Apple, and you'll notice it's gone here. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.